Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use the little telescopes that are in these buckets that you can check out from the library. They are made by a company named Orion, and they're called Skyscanner 100s. They're 100 millimeters in diameter. Let's go ahead and crack open this bucket and see what's inside. Take off the lid, just peel back on the sides until it comes loose. And what do we have inside? There is a set of printed instructions. That's a summary of what we're doing right now. There is a Ziploc bag full of accessories. Then there is the telescope itself. So let's take a look. The telescope. Uh, I will point out, don't mess with this knob. If you loosen that knob, it will detach the telescope from the stand. So leave that knob alone. But this knob on the side allows you to tilt it up and down. We say altitude or elevation. And then it moves left and right. Just move it by hand. And now let's take a look at what's in the Ziploc. <clears throat> there are two eyepieces, a 10 millimeter focal length eyepiece and a 20 millimeter focal length eyepiece. These have different uh, magnifications. So the 10 millimeter is gonna give you a higher magnification, but it's a smaller field of view on the sky. 20 millimeter, lower magnification, but bigger field of view on the sky. There is an adapter that will allow you to attach a cell phone to the telescope so you can take pictures. And there is an aiming device, uh, a red dot finder, we call it. And the basic idea here is you take that little plug out. And by the way, as you, you detach things, put them in the little Ziploc bag so that you don't drop them and lose them on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the 10 millimeter eyepiece and that plugs in right here. This little screw on the side to tighten that just to hold it in place so it doesn't fall out. Again, the, uh, the caps for the eyepiece go in the Ziploc bag so you don't lose them. The uh, red dot finder, it goes onto this little dovetail bracket here. And it slips on so this, this, uh, this end goes at the top towards the sky slips on like this and then these screws on the side you tighten those and kind of grips the bracket from the side locks that into place and then there's a um, there's an on off switch right here it is battery operated one of those little button batteries so at the end make sure you turn it off when you pack it up so that uh, the battery doesn't doesn't drain but we are now almost all set up forgot to take off the cap so make sure you take off the cap and again, into the Ziploc bag so it doesn't get dropped on the ground. And now you can use the telescope. So let's say, for instance, over there, let's say over there, uh, near the horizon, there's a bright, a bright thing. Maybe you think it might be Venus. And well, how do, you, how do you do this? You're going to line up that red dot. This is how you look through. And you'll see a red dot. Of course, it's nighttime. I'm doing this in the daytime. I'm doing this inside. You're outside at nighttime. And so when you look through the red dot finder, it looks like a red dot on the sky. So you line up that red dot on that thing that you think might be Venus. And assuming the finder is in good shape, you'll look in the eyepiece here and you should see Venus. You'll have to focus. So it's got a focus knob right here, just like you might have used a microscope before. You turn the knob to focus, moves the eyepiece in and out. And uh, that's the basic idea of how you use this. The, um, you'll want to set this on something sturdy, like uh, if you're outside, uh, like the, you might find a picnic table or a low, one of those low walls or something that you could set it on. Something sturdy so that when you walk around, it doesn't shake or vibrate. And uh, now you might find, you might find that when you get lined up on something, and the red dot's exactly on it, and there's nothing in the eyepiece, that means that this red dot finder is misaligned. So if I uh, find a bright star or Venus or the moon or something, get it in the eyepiece just kind of by fishing around, and then you look through the red dot finder, and if it's not on the object, then use these two screws right here and here, those two knobs rather, 
and adjust those until the red dot is on the object when it is also in the eyepiece. And then you will have corrected the misalignment. And then for your next object, you'll be able to rely on the red dot finder to line up. So enjoy looking at various celestial sites. When you are done, please remember to turn off the red dot finder. I think I've said that twice now. Take that off, put it in the Ziploc bag, put the cap on, take the eyepiece out, the little covers for the eyepiece. Make sure you put those back on to protect, to protect the eyepiece while it's jostling around in that bag. And then everything goes back into, everything goes back into the um, bucket, just like you found it, return it to the library.